let us know. Who's on the Hello and welcome and good morning to St. John's Park Heart Lake Bowling Club. And we have the ladies' major singles final. And it's between Dawn Heyman and, and Brianna Smith. I don't know. Yeah, that was a lot of... Hello and good morning. Uh, it's St John's Park Bowling Club Hub for the ladies' major single style final, and it's Peter Dive with Ben Twisting commentary, and we have a cracking match here this morning, and it's between Brianna Smith and Dawn Haim, and, and welcome, Benny. Yes, welcome. Thank you, Peter. Uh, thanks for another beautiful day here at St John's Park Bowling Club. Yeah, it definitely is, and we've got two current world champions in action this morning. Brianna Smith, uh, less than 12 months ago, winning the world under 25 singles over in Ireland. So, pretty good calibre here, Dovey. Yeah, definitely. We're only into the first stand, and Dawny's got her hands light the uh, brown bowls or the red bowls. And uh, Brianna's got, what does she play with, Ben? Uh, Brianna has Taylor SR, size 3. And just coming down on the back end here, Brianna. She get underneath, she, she could sit the sip. Bowl. Great effort. Just slipping through the gap here. That's uh, it's pretty quick uh, today, Divey. What are you reckon it's running? About 16? Yeah, oh, I'd reckon so. It looks a beautiful speed. Dawn just need to get up through a last bowl, which is just slightly short. Of course, uh, for those just tuning in, this is the final of our ladies' major singles. Brianna Smith and Dawn Heyman. This is a rematch of last year's final. Uh, Dawn Heyman getting the better of Brianna this time last year in that. And uh, actually, Dawn Divey, Dawn's won five major singles in a row. So she's going for number six, which is quite an incredible feat. That's nearly as good as you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Dawn has been in uh, excellent form at club level, but everywhere, you know, state level and Australian level. So she's been... Form player, I reckon, in the last three to four years. Oh, 100%. 100%. And, of course, this uh, the winner of this match goes on to the state champion of champions. We see Dawn just trying to sneak in here for two. Just dropping a bit short. And uh, Dawn, uh, a two-time winner of the New South Wales champion of champion singles and a two-time winner of the Australian champion of champion singles too. So she's trying to go and uh, make it three if she can. But, of course, Brianna Smith, she, Brianna hasn't won a club singles here at St. John's. She's made a couple of finals. As we said, she lost the final last year to Dawn. Uh, in a very close one, so uh, she'll be trying to go one better here. How's your nerves? Ah, oh, not too bad, mate. Not too uh, bad. Seeing Benny and Brianna Orica. What do you call yourselves? Partners? Couple? Yeah. Boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah, all, all the above. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> and it's great to see um, young Aaron Swatridge, who's going to be the marker. Uh, Aaron played really well this morning, but only just going down over the last couple of ends, 25-21. Yeah, she did play well. She jumped out of the blocks against Brianna. Uh, good start here from Dorney. She jumped out of the blocks and uh, got a bit of a lead on her and Brianna just slowly pegged it back throughout the game and just managed to get the better right at the death. And uh, Dawn Heyman took on Chelsea McKay. Had a 25-15 to 15 win. Uh, that one as well. Another sort of close game early on. Uh, Chelsea actually led 8-5 in that game before Dawn won eight ends in a row to sort of break away. So it's usually a bit tighter on this back end. But it does come back late. Yeah, for those of us that tuned in uh, two weeks ago, last week, for the uh, the men's major pairs, you'll notice we're playing on the same rink. And that uh, the side that Dawn's playing at the moment is a little bit quicker and a little bit wider. 
And the side closest to the clubhouse, just on the right of screen, as we're looking at it now, you'll find is a lot straighter, particularly with any kind of weight diving. Yeah. This is my favourite rink in the club. <laughs> Dorney just making two. Just need to drop a yard here, Brianna. This is the side I love playing, Benny. Just holds and just comes back a little bit late. Uh, could be second shot that there. Dorney staying on the forehand, just trying to play just over the draw. He should love to just match Brianna's last bowl if she could. If she does drop off and draw another close second, that'll be a bonus as well. And of course, it's, it's uh, 25 up in this uh, Lady Major Singles final. I still love the 31 up, are they? <laughs> I know the girls are a bit, might be a different. Brenda's on a better line here. She certainly is. If she got good weight, she get back here, just holding off, just carrying an extra yard of weight. So three bowls catching. So Dorney will try and just tighten up here. If she can get a couple of rolls out of Brianna's bowl, she might make four here. Put some Definitely. On. Put some early pressure on. It's a tighter line. That could that will cut underneath. Yes, yeah, so if you get tight on that hand, it'll just go. Well, not a great deal of danger here for Brandon with the white, right weight. Just trying to play something similar. Any touch down the line, she can make up the four. Yeah, even she's slightly tidy, sit the bowl. Absolutely. And if you're watching, please share us around. Uh, as many viewers as beautiful would be beautiful. And uh, many better viewers as possible. Looks like it's going to drift out there a bit. Yeah, that should be one to Dorney. One to Dawn, so Dawn will lead 2-0. And for those just tuning in, this is our ladies' major pairs final. Brianna Smith defeating Erin Swatridge, who is our marker today, 25-21 in this morning's semi-final. Dawn Smith defeating Chelsea McKay, 25-15. This is a rematch of last year's final. Of course, Dawn got the better of that, uh, winning her fifth club singles in a row. So she's going for number six today, Peter Dive. And uh, Peter Dive, you are joining me in commentary. Welcome back, mate. Yeah, I'm not, not the best today, Benny. A bit under the weather. Hungover or crook? I was still hungover from Private Eye win last <laughs> week. I was wondering how long we'd take for Private Eye to get mentioned. And we are at seven minutes. I lost a bet. I thought it'd be less than five. Well, if you saw the idiot on... <laughs> On coverage last week, celebrating. That was me. <laughs> that was a great run. Yeah, nah, great. chest infection. So, but I love commentary, so I'm here. So, 2 0, Dawn Heyman. Back to back singles to open this match. Interesting that Brown is playing around the clock. Is uh, she prefer to backhand, bent? Huh? Yeah, well, I think I think she will stay on this wide hand. Just uh, the position of Dawn's bowl in that first end, I think, forced her to play or what she felt like the backhand. So I think she will stick to this wider side. I, I would imagine both players would. Oh, excellent start uh, by Bree. You're looking pretty good. Good back bowl here for Bree. I wonder if Dorney will change over here. Uh, still backing herself off on the back end. Yeah, so Dawn just staying there. She had beautiful weight. Just trying to correct her line, come around the Brown Smith bowl to draw the shot. Looks just under again. I'd have to agree with K 
Karen McKay's comment. Benny, the um, the girls this morning, the young girls, yeah, Aaron and Chelsea, um, Britt got Brittany Camp. You know, it's a great effort to get to the semi-finals here as the, the major yeah, absolutely. singles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Got to win a few games to get there, and you know, you got the likes of of Dawn Heyman and Sam Ferguson, and obviously Brianna Smith. You know, are all. Uh, you know, well accomplished state players and Australian players, so it's um it's a bit of a tough skill. We've got a nice nice young crew coming through, the names you just mentioned, plus a few more as well. Mm. That's a building and they're all gaining more experience playing in these events, so it was a very good showing. Well, it was great I to hear from Chelsea that she said didn't matter about the result, she had a lot of fun. Yeah, she did, yeah. She played well too. She pushed Dawn right to the end. And Dawn looking very good here. Just needed to turn back. Great shot, Dawny. Could be one. So Aaron Swatridge, our, our marker today, just suggesting that Dawn is holding one with that last ball. Well, she can convert here, Bree. Sit the ball through or hit the front wide over. Not a mile away. Just needs to roll out of the front. Oh, great effort. So it looks like it'll be another single to Dawn Heyman. And she extended lead to 3-0. Of course, first to 25. And a dead ends to be replayed as normal. So do you, Ben. You're a dual state singles champion. And how many times here? Uh, just the one club singles here, mate. Wow. Yeah. But what's the key to you in a game of, sing in a game of singles? Oh, look, it's... Depends on the on who you're playing against a little bit and, and the style yep. of the green and that sort of stuff. But obviously, your first two bowls in any singles game is the key. Building pressure with your first two bowls, that's what wins singles games. Obviously, you know, sometimes you need to bring out the drive and stuff like that. But nine times out of ten, whoever plays the first two bowls better will win a game of singles, but it's by building sheer pressure. Yep. So that's obviously the go. And you'll notice these two players are not overly aggressive. They'll back their draw. Yep. Uh, particularly early on in the game. It was one thing we saw this morning uh, with Chelsea McKay versus Dawn Heyman in the semi-final. Dawn just backed herself on the draw early on and uh, it paid dividends later on the match as she found a draw. She started out draw Chelsea. So I think we'll see that here too. I think we'll see a, a fairly conservative style of game where both girls will back their draw, which is both of their strengths, naturally. Well, Dawn, he just needs to... Not getting that grass right... On the forehand. She did that time, but just a, lacking a little bit of weight. So a beautiful day here at St. John's Park. Not a breath of wind. Not a breath of wind. Should be conducive to some pretty good bowls here this afternoon. Bruno just urging this one to hold. Well, well got a little bit of love. Bit of such a wiki woo. Yeah. I usually find this um, forehand about a, a second quicker than the backhand from this direction. Yeah, it is a little bit quicker than the uh, than the other hand. Dawn look pre looking pretty good here. Great shot, Dawn. Hi, Eamon. Just a bit quick here, Bree. You know, she's turned her back on that one. Not happy with that one. Just overplayed it. Do we have it on YouTube? It is on YouTube, yes. Oh, young Dave Stockham would like to know if it's in YouTube. It is on YouTube under Saints TV. There you go, Dave. Just meeting the uh, two whites on the left there. Dorney. That's oh, looking pretty good. Just needs to run out. Two great shots there by Dawn Heyman to make it 5 0. Oh no, got one. So I just sent go. you the link, Dave. Mr. David Stockham, I just sent you the link for the YouTube and your messenger, mate. So you can jump onto that, onto Saints TV. Oh, it's a bit quick there. I thought Bria played yes, four balls. You've written her off already, Divey. Oh, jeez. No <laughs> way. Well, she's on a tighter line here. She's got just over the weight. She'll hold up. 
Just needs to be a bit further. Just not. Not quite. So another I can two say shots. two now. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so another two shots to Dawn Heyman. She extends her lead to 5 0. Uh, the producer, director. What else do you want to call him? Anthony Cotty. Give us the link to the YouTube. Dawny favouring uh, not a maximal uh, length. Probably, well, 32 metres. 32 metres. Yeah, the mat's just a, a couple of metres off the tee and Jack just shy of the tee. Looks like this one might just run past. Brianna will be looking for a, a couple of good bowls net. It, uh, so she can try to put some pressure on Dorney, get off the mark. Yeah, she's just uh, just a little bit unders and overs at the moment, and mm. Dawn's managed to get in first, put a bit of pressure on Browner. As we said, those uh, those first two bowls and singles is the key. Getting those first two bowls close, building ahead, building pressure. Just needing a yard here, Brianna. Looking very good. Yes, excellent correction here. Just wants it to get stay on the centre line now. Miles just turned away, so chance to Dawn just to try and draw that touch of Divey. Slot it tight in the line. Yeah, she's just got a bit over the weight. She's looking for this trail. It's just going to get away on her. Uh, could have promoted uh, Breeder two. Yeah, I think she has. I think it's two to white. So Brianna just try and get back and match these maroon bowls past the jack. She can count and cover here. An excellent line for it. Just hugging behind the jack would be great. Yeah. Well, if this sits right next to we might see a run shot here from Dorney. I dare say. It's on a forehand. Yeah. Forehand with weight. Looking for the jack. And as we said, it will not turn that hand with weight, will it? That went awfully straight. But she, she got rid of the shot bolt. Just me being sick. <laughs> Don't give me anything, mate. Nah. Don't worry. Looking good here to Brianna. She's going to make it definitely two. We might need the lie detector out for three. Oh, no. Three to Bree, and it's five to three. Interesting to see what Brianna plays in length. Oh, you got me off. So, Brianna looks like she's going T to T here. Trying to stretch it out. Oh, might not want to lose it. No. And it's just dropped in. So, I've just got a few more viewers uh, tuning in. So, if you just tuned in, uh, this is our ladies' major singles final here at St. John's Park Bowling Club. Five-time defending champion Dawn Heyman against Brianna Smith, which is a rematch of last year's final. Early days, first of 25. Uh, Brianna just scoring a three to get on the board, 5-3. Dawn Heyman's favour. Well, Brianna's first end, she was on the back end. Now she switched over to this forehand in this direction. Just needs to run out. Should be a good starter. Well played. So a bit of a crowd building here behind us, Peter. Yeah, 
yeah, which which game started a little bit earlier than normal, so might get some people around about twelve to twelve thirty. Yeah. What's your tip, Peter? Have you got uh, anyone you favour in this one, Divey? Oh, can't say that is you, Ben. <laughs> I just want a good game. I think it's going to come down to, like you said, the first two bon bowls and also Bree's self-confidence. Yeah. That's what I think. Can she believe in herself to win the title? Absolutely. I think that that'll, that's going to play a big role in this match. They have played a, quite a few times in singles, and I, I do believe Dawn's Dawn has won them all. Uh, has been some close games in there, though, but... Dawn, he just played a great shot. On shot, they'd get shot. Bit too much weight here for Bree. Be closer to for Dawn. And Dorney switching over to the forehand. Trying to drop inside this uh, this white bowl of Brenner's. Just urging it to run on now. Just falling short. I do think it is just the one. Yep, confirmation from Aaron, the marker. One to Dawn. On a tighter line here, Brianna. Yeah, she's a lot closer this time. Will it drop enough? So just holding out on that on that tight hand, the clubhouse side. I thought you might have played it uh, like the the positive draw, the one you know yard two uh, two yards over. Yeah, just trying to go the trail. Yeah, I think she she may have actually tried to play that, but she might just have overplayed that just a little bit. So it's pretty close for two now. Dawn just uh, had a look at that. Don't think it changes her shot. She's just full drawing on the forehand, I think, here, Divey. She's got nothing to lose. Slips underneath and turns her shot bowl. She'll make two. She does happen to turn Brown's bowl two rolls. She'll make four here. So that's what she's she trying. Can, yeah, she can play any weight here. She's looking for she's it. She's watching this very closely. She's very, very close. And she's got it. Enough for three. That's a great bowl. Great shot there, Dorney Heyman. Definitely got the two out of the way. So up three it is. Dawn extends her lead to eight three. Gee, she plays those shots well, Divey. Yeah, really very does. much so. And gets that three back that she lost the last end. Like uh, she went down three on the last end and and got that back. So it's uh, it's great. Give uh, Dorney a little bit of confidence as well because, you know, playing that, as you know, in a singles game, you get a good bowl away and you make it out of one end of three or a four or something like that, where you're two or three down and you change it over a shot. It's good to get that early confidence in a game, especially a big game like this. Yeah, absolutely. So she's sticking with that, uh, that sort of mat up a couple of metres and Jack just shy of the tee. That's the length she played uh, in the semi-final to, uh, to great effect this morning. Dawny told me when she was um, a couple of years ago, I was having a chat to her about how it was going with the with the singles game, and she always said the second bowl was a, a positive shot. She always tried to make sure that she's reaching the jack yep. with her second bowl. So uh, good opening here from Brianna. That was a key. Yeah, I think a lot of a lot of players have what they call second bowl syndrome. Uh, a lot of people tend to drop their second bowl short in singles, which is uh, obviously can get can be troublesome later on in the end. So it's just being really. I think she just tries to tell herself to be really, really confident, really positive with it. She's played a good second one here. Great shot. I wonder if Brie will turn over here. Jared Goodwin says hello, Benjamin. Hello, mate. Yes, the greens are ripping. Running beautiful, a good 16. 
It's uh, this side that Brown is playing at the moment. A little bit tighter, but still still will get back with good weight. Diver, he just gets back towards the end. And uh, yeah. the side to the right of screen, very wide. Uh, beautiful draw. And it is a little bit slower as well, as Brown might have just found out. A little yep. bit slower I on this I find it a second slower on this side. Yeah, it is. And this will just hold off as well with any weight. What type of grass are we playing on, Benny? Uh, we've got Tiftdorf here at St. John's. We've got three Tiftdorf greens. Let's see if Brianna can find that extra yard on this last bowl. It's a better line. Tuck around the corner will be tremendous here for Brianna. Very close. Let's get to the bowl. Oh, that's a great shot. That's well played. Perfect. Be one or and two. And a toucher. Uh, just push the wrong button there. We've got a replay of uh, something else. Jared Beath, actually. Back on the action, here we are. Dawn running on the backhand. Oh, just missing. That was an interesting little bit of coverage there, Ben. That was a good shot from Jared, too, I think, if I remember correctly. Well, that reminds me uh, Wednesday night, uh, Cabramatta versus St. John's Park from Cabramatta Bowling Club. That'll be live stream from Cabramatta Bowls. Yep, sure will. So our uh, our Grade 1 pennant season here in Zone 12 will be just the two games. It'll be yep. over in a week. So yep. Wednesday night at Cabramatta and then Friday night here at St. John's, which will be live streamed as well on Saints TV. Hopefully I'm feeling a little bit better there. <laughs> just a little bit wide here from Bree. It's playing a safe It'll be interesting line. if it's one or two. Looks, yeah, so looks two to me, mate. Looks two to me. We'll find out in a second. She's got the paddles up for two, Aaron. And it is. Two it is. And it goes to eight five. It's interesting here, Brianna. She uh she got a three in this direction a couple of ends ago and decided to go well she went to go T to T and threw the jack mm. in the ditch. So she's taking the mat up now and going the opposite side. She's going short or shortish. It's not far off the length that Dawn's been playing. I thought she might have played a little bit yeah, shorter, yeah. Benny. I thought she might have had another cracker going, T to T. The mat's probably only about a metre or so up the green further than what Dawn's been playing. Mm. It's a subtle change, but only a slight change. But, you know, it might be enough for Breeze thinking, I'm just not got quite the weight mm. in this direction. It's a good start. Should come back nicely here to the jack. Yeah, that's a very good opener. We're getting good coverage, Benny, on our live stream here, Saints, Saints TV. It is on YouTube as well. Uh, Dawny's played a bomb here. Oh, ducked away, got a touch. Just got away then. I think it's probably still shot. Yeah. Brianna might have changed then, Ben, but played a good one with the first. That should be right near the jack. Won't throw him through the hole, will it? Doesn't want to get the jack, though. Oh, unfortunate for Bree. So for those just joining us, this is our ladies' major pairs final. Singles. Dawn Heyman, uh, uh, major singles final, sorry. <laughs> Dawn Heyman and Brianna Smith, uh, replay last year's final. And I think Dawn just pulling up a tad short. We might see a change of hands here now, Peter. Just something to work off there, that last bowl of Dawn's. Yeah, she doesn't want to be too wide. She's played a few wide bowls down this side, Brianna. And it's and as you can see, yeah, just will not give. a little bit weight, it just hangs. I think it's too much weight too, Benny. Like, she only needs to trail off the jack, yeah. you know, a couple Actually, of feet there. She the can use the probably wasn't too bad. Yeah. She overplayed it again, which she did a couple of times coming back this way a few ends ago as well. Just yet to find the weight on that on that uh, that tighter hand on the right of screen. Yep. She's played him a couple of... You know, like it's weight to the ditch. She only needs to draw, like, trail the jack two feet or come off the outside bowl. She can get the shot bowl. It's a 
bit quick again and it's holding. Yeah, just from, uh, from experience playing on this rank quite a few times, when you're playing those sorts of shots on that, particularly on the backhand coming this way, but also to a slightly lesser extent to the forehand going away for the right-hander, you just have to try and miss tight. You just got to play it mm. as if you're not going to miss wide, and hopefully it, it does hold, because it will hold if you if you're just overweight. You just got to play it tight and watch it sort of drift. Probably even, even like if you wanted to play the weight, even go at, at the second shot bowl or the bowl that's just in front of Jack. Yeah, yeah. If it does drop a little bit. But Whereas uh, this hand Dawn's about to play is a complete opposite. Beautiful mm. turn, late turn. And Dawn, you'll just try and draw up here. She can get a roll out of Brianna's bowl. She'll make three. Alternatively, just dropping inside for two, but I think she's just pushed it out wide again. Yep. Not happy with herself there, Dorney. It looks like we've only got... Is it one or two? Well, we're going to have a look. It's two. Two it is to Dawn. And it's 10-5. Dawn Haven's way. Of course, first to 25. So hello Cole, Brown is pop watching in, plays out of Camden Bowling Club. Maddie Blackburn, we're the number one broadcast team. <laughs> don't know don't about know, that. No, I don't <laughs> know about that. We're only in our early days. Tony just over here, she'd love to just trail this jack. Wow, just getting a snick on it. I think Brianna's got to change the length up here. In a yeah, I'm very surprised she played that length last end. Dorney's shown over her quarterfinal, semi-final, and so far in the final, she's really loving this this length we're seeing. This length we're seeing here, Matt mm. a couple of meters up from the tee, Jack a few meters back from the tee. I think she's got to either go really short or really long. Just try and test out Dawn with something different. Yeah. It's a really nice length on this on this uh, pace green. You don't have to put too much effort into it. So here's a chance for Brianna. A couple of wayward ones here from Dorney. Just wasn't bad weight the first. Just needs to overcorrect the grass. Looks on a better line. Just needs to arrive now. Well played, Brianna Smith. Well done. A little bit wider again here by Dawn. Hoping it for the drop back. Well, still one to Brianna Smith. Changing to the forehand, interesting. Yeah, I think just a little scared there about hitting Dawn's last bowl any closer. Can possibly use this to make another one. Well, it's gone into a good spot. Wouldn't be surprised if Dawny plays a little bit tighter here. Try to sit the bowl. Like you said this morning, she backed herself on the draw a lot though. She got a couple of bowls behind. She could play yeah, a yard through. She's got a few options here. She can, yeah. she can even play the forehand if she wants to just sort of arrive up there. She slices a jack either side. She's got a couple of catches or land the bowl. Yep. But she might just back herself on the draw. She wasn't a mile away. We'll see very shortly what she decides to do. Uh, she's on the backhand. Staying on the backhand. She's trying to draw this off. Not a bad line, Dawn Heyman. Been tighter than the last couple. She's come down this way. She's in the area. Swooping. Just doesn't need the gap now. Needs the jack. Oh, wow, she kicked the goal. Unlucky. Great effort. Well, she gave just gave her that chance you suggested there, Divey. She had plenty of, plenty of things working for it. Just a bit unlucky to find the gap between bowl and jack. Hello, Hello. Colin. A chance here now for Browner. Thomas's dad is watching from Wodonga. Hello, Webby. How are you, mate? 
And of course, Thomas is here. Yes, the professional bowls watcher, as I call him. <laughs> Dawny's number one fan. He's got it down pat. <laughs> Big bowl here for Bree. Need's got a free kick. It'll be nice to get make it two. Can she get it there? Just played it a little bit tentatively. But one it is to Browner. Draws back within four, ten six to Dawn Heyman. And of course, a big thank you to Anthony Cotty and Jared Beath, who are our beh behind the scenes guys today, taking care of all the camera work, etc. Might see a couple more shots from Jerry later on. <laughs> and here's that change of length we were talking about, Peter. I think this is a good move here. She's gone short. Short uh, generally is what she favours most of the time, the shorter jacks. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, Benny. I thought that was what, you know, she played a shorter end and she's keeping it away from the ditch because Dawny's got that really powerful drive as well. So Absolutely. You gotta change it up for you know, in the key players. You gotta change it up. I don't think the subtle one meter distance, two meter distance is enough. Good start there by Dawn. Yeah, Anthony Cotty and Jared here with us, our production crew, director. Great coverage. We'll continue to f live stream our finals into the future and pennant games. Just a touch quick here, Bree. So we'll just uh, I'll just run through the uh, how these two girls made it to the final. So Brianna Smith in her first round took on Kate Morgan, coming away with a 25 to 15 win. She then defeated Donna McCormick Ford 25 to 4. Jackie Short 25 to 8. And then this morning's semi final, she defeated Aaron Swatcheridge 25 to 20. And Dawn on the other side of the draw, uh, she had a 25 to 6 win over Marianne Parcell. She then played the reigning state champion of champion singles winner, Samantha Ferguson, and had a very good game that one 25 21. That would have been a game to watch. Yeah, it was a cracking game. Sam led that for a little bit, and Dawn yeah. finished off very, very strongly to uh, win 25-21. And then this morning's semi-final, Dawn defeated Chelsea McKay 25-15. Big ball here for Dawny. Could put a lot of pressure on here. Just urging this one to get back. She's very close. I'd like it to drop a little bit more. Oh, that's excellent. Slightly in the draw line as well. It's a big ball here for Browner. Three down. Just needs to be positive, but a little bit tighter. Is she positive enough, though, Benny? Because that'll hook. That'll go away. Hasn't quite got the legs either. Uh, not happy about that. So, Dawny holding three, looking for a free kick here to get a full book. Brianna would be quite disappointed, Benny, about that. She rolled a different length, and the first three were like a metre to two metres over. Just couldn't get that length, you know, the, the bowl the right to the length that she wanted, and Dawn's capitalising here. Yeah. Like you said, drawing for the book. She looks a little bit heavy as well, Dawn. That's three. So three it is to Dawn. Extend her lead. To 13 shots to six. First to 25, of course, this ladies' final. <laughs> so, Dawn, I guess, perhaps courtesy of playing such a good end then, she's actually brought the mat up a little bit further than where she's had it previously. We're playing a, uh, oh, probably a 23 metre length. I think this length might suit Bree. This is the length I thought Bree might have played the w end before. A little bit longer than what she was. Yeah. As you know, on a quickish green, it's hard to draw on a short length, so we'll see. 
and I hope you're enjoying the coverage from St John's Park Bowling Club of the Ladies Major Singles Final between two current world champions Dawn Heyman of course that just recently won the triples world championship up at Broadbeach and the current under 25 indoor singles champion Brianna Smith Good opening bowl there by Bree. Yes, Dawn, a, a five-time defending champion of this major singles. Won five in a row, going for number six. Of course, she's won two state champion champion singles and two Australian champion champion singles. So she's had a bit of a monopoly on this uh, major singles here at St. John's for a while, but I'm sure Brianna won't go down without fighting. She, uh, this was a rematch of last year's grand final. Dawn, of course, just getting just getting the better of Brianna in a very good game. Oh, well, well. You know, do, you say Dorney won the two Australian champion champions, but that was when it, just before COVID, and it, uh, she couldn't go on to the world. So mm. that's a big thing for Dorney. Get yeah, I, the I can imagine that would be quite... It's, it's pretty difficult to win an Australian champion champions, and obviously you've got that, that world champion champion carried at the end of it, and to win it twice and to have both of those world championships cancelled due to COVID yeah. would be very, very disappointing. So I'm sure this one's high up on the list of events you'd like to win to get to that world championship. It's very close for shot. Aaron's spot ridge is our marker. She favours Bree or the white bowl. Oh, she's on a good line again. Looks pretty good weight as well. Yeah, well played. Well, that's the shot. So one and a measure. Crowd just building here behind us, Peter. A few more claps every time someone plays a good bowl now. We're just getting a few yeah, more through I, the door. Well, I think people probably thought the game would probably start around about 12, 12.30. And the girls played pretty quickly this morning. The games were quite close. So, you know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more. But, of course, we've got a great coverage on our live stream at the moment. And it also was on our Saints TV YouTube. So when he can play a little bit of weight here, she might be a bit wide, Benny. Yeah, she needs dead weight to get back from there. Well, just overplaying it, so this is a big bowl now for Browner. She's got to make it. She's got to get the, that. These are the ones you have to make against the quality of Dawn Heyman. Yep. you got to get these free kicks because you yep. don't get too many opportunities like this. Yep. I thought this length, Benny, I said it at the start of the end, I'm not going to gloat or anything, but I thought this, <laughs> this length... It sounds like gloating. Well, I, OK, I will, will gloat. <laughs> and, um, but I thought this length would be good for Bree. She needs this bowl, though. She looks a bit quick, though. Yeah, just urging this one to drop. Just going to run through... So we'll Hello, find David. Out, we'll find out if it is too. Hello, David. Fig GM Ferguson. How are we? Fig GM Ferguson. Oh, okay. Is that what you said? Uh, correct. Okay. It is two. Two it is. And it's now 13 8. Nothing wrong with Fig. Place I love. Well, Brenna trying to go for a long jack. Trying to mix this up here. I thought she might have gone a little bit like mid length of the line, but uh, oh well, something, something different. Yes, she tried this in the first time, but lost the jack. This is the first long end uh, we've seen this match so far, so we'll see who can jump on first. There it is, the jack about two feet from the tee. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't let it go, Benny. Uh, so I was talking about that self-confidence she needs to believe in herself. Put the challenge. Take it head on. A good opener here from Dawn. Yeah, that should run on nicely. Very good opener. Jack High. We'll see switch. No. Better line here from Bree. Yeah, she's watching this one closely. Just wants it to hold now. Oh, duck away. Just needs to hold a little bit further. That's a good correction. Bow on the head. Oh, 
What bowls are they using, Benny? Uh, so Dawn's, uh, Dawn's got uh, Henselight XG. The one she used at the Worlds. Yep, size three. Yep, these are the World Championship bowls. And uh, Browner has Taylor SR's size three. So we might see a change here, here now from Browner onto this backhand. It'll be interesting. She's been playing this hand quite wide. It's a quite tight line if you're near to the coverage. She's been a little bit wider and it's been holding. It's not a bad line here, Benny. It just needs to hold a little bit further. If she can arrive, she could be onto the jack. Uh, will it be enough? A great effort. I'm just dropping away, so Aaron Swatridge, our marker. Just letting Dawn know she's still holding the shot. Dawn, you'll just stay there. Just tr Ideally, just trying to come around her shot bowl. She can count and cover slightly. It's coming home to a nice home, Ben. Yeah, that could be a good bowl later on if, uh, if Brown is to draw the shot. That'll come in awfully handy for Dawn. Could it? Yeah, it could even be handy for Dawny. She might try the jack if Bree doesn't do anything with this bowl. Another good line. Has she got that extra little bit of weight that she needs? Oh, she's trying awfully hard. Can it arrive for her? Unfortunately not. Now will Dorney... No, Dorney's staying on the forehand. I think she's just a little bit worried there, Peter, perhaps turning Brenner's wing oh, bowl in on the backhand. Yeah, I just, agree. She's played this forehand quite well. She's really found the line the last few ends down here. Just backing herself on the draw. Just going to pull up a little short, but that's that's one more to Dawn Heyman. She extends her lead to 14 shots to 8. And I hope you're enjoying our coverage. Let us know where you're watching from. Some of you might be watching from overseas or just around the corner. And share us around this great game. Beautiful conditions here at St John's Park, southwestern Sydney. And welcome to Steve Glasson tuning in. Oh, wow. A nine-time major singles champion here at St John's Park. And, of course, our f further coverage of live streaming, well... Our number ones against Cabramatta in the single gender pennant on Wednesday night. That will be at Cabramatta Bowls. we will be live streaming there. And also back here on Friday night, we'll have the reverse game. Because it's only a home and away for the single gender pennants and number ones here in Zone 12. And the Saints will be playing Cabra and we'll have live stream of that. And that's going to have all the guns in it, Benny, I believe. All Ferguson, Twist, Healy, Wilson... Yeah, it should be a cracking, a cracking event. Uh, the first of the the two rink single genders we've, we've yeah, had, so something a little rings. bit different as well. Yep. Just interesting here, Divey. Both both players changing to the tight hand. They have been playing the back end coming down this direction. I don't know why Dawny done it. She played brilliant on the back end. She's changed the. Well, she, ha she has lost a couple of ends going in this direction, so that I could think be that's something. possibly why. But just just running on through the head a little with her first two. But Bree followed her. That was interesting. Good pick up, Benny. So that uh, that second ball of Dawn's just stayed on, just hanging on the lip. Just can't quite see it in the screen at the moment. Just a touch short. How's the speed of the green we've been asked here, Benny? Oh, it's, it's a good 16. A good Something 16. similar to what you'd have at Broad, v Broad yeah, Beach pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar. 16, pretty true. This hand Dawn's playing. Got a beautiful arc, a late turn. You'll see this just dive right back to the centre line now. It's a beautiful Is it shot. It's a shot. I'd say Bree's still got shot. Erin oh, just suggesting that it's a measure. She couldn't quite pick it. I don't think it changes Brenner's shot. She's just arriving up on the forehand here. It's tight enough on that hand. She can actually get underneath her own bowl and, and get a touch on the jack. Yeah, come on, just positive draw through in her own bowl. A shorter bowl. Just, just push it out wide. Unfortunately, losing the bowl. Only trusting herself on the draw, as we said earlier. Well, she's close again. Very close. Just looking to slip around her own bowl now. 
Brilliant, Dorney. Brilliant. Well, that guarantees a shot. Very good. I think she's got to play forehand here, Brianna. Ben, I can't think she could play backhand. Backhand with a bit of weight, she might get Dorney's under her own and might pop it out for to two down. Yeah, I think she's got more chance. Well, she's played three bowls in the forehand as yeah, well, Dorney. I think she just stays down there. And she can even get a turn on the Dawn Heyman bowl and make two herself. A little touch on the jack. I yeah, think she'll stay touch. there. Just try something similar to what she's been trying with uh, with the first three bowls. Uh, she's gone backhand, Ben. Well, it's made a liar out of us. Well, okay. That's part of the teaching manual for you two <laughs> through the week. <laughs> She's playing a bit of weight, though. Will it hold enough on that hand? Will it hold enough? Uh, unfortunately not. That's another one to Dawn Heyman, and she now leads 15-8. And you're watching the St John's Park Ladies Major Singles Final. First 25, Peter Dive and Ben Twist in commentary. So Dawn going back to her favoured length here. Yeah, just bringing the mat up a couple of metres. Just that middle to middle. Yeah, just, yep. Good opening bowl by Dawn again. Lovely start. Puts the pressure straight back onto Brianna Smith. It's not a bad line here by Bree. Tighter side. But just holding. Are they a tight set of bowls, those tailors that Bree's got? They Benny? are. They are a rather tight set. Yeah, so they're... They're SRs, but they're uh, they're rather tight set. So she does a lot of leading, plays a lot of lead yep. in big events. So she prefers the tighter bowl, just sort of plonking bowls up into the head. But yeah, she's not getting a great deal of turn on this tight side here, and she just hasn't quite found it yet. Well, I reckon that bowl, last bowl, there's a guide. You can't be any wider than that bowl for here for Bree. She's got a tight set of bowls. That's your aiming point. Oh, just urging this one to get back. I don't know if it will. Here it comes, though. Will it get the jack? Oh, not enough. Oh, cracking effort. Dawny quickly away again. Be nice to get behind the jack here. Yeah, she's just going to pull up short here. She was she was looking at playing forehand. I think that's just dropped in her eye. She she can stay on the back end if she likes. I like forehand. Yeah, well she's she can just arrive up underneath that last bowl. She's gotta make she? sure she's given it enough grass because it will drop. She can't go straight at it. The two behind. Does she get enough down? Will she it get under that bowl? She's a big chance. She's gonna run into it. Unfortunately, oh. she's pushed it in for another shot. It was really either way, wasn't it, Ben? Yeah, uh, backhand or forehand. Wasn't any danger on the backhand. I thought this, there wasn't a gap on the backhand either. But uh, she might have lost a bit of confidence on playing some sort of yeah. positive weighted on the backhand because it has hasn't been dropping for her. Well, you can just see what Dawn does here now. She's got a pretty good two. She, she might just try and chuck this one just around the back, cover that trail. She can drop a really soft three at the back of the rink. I think that's what she's doing. Well, no, she's going to drop just short again. She's going to drop for three. Well, it's going to count, though. This, this is pressure now here for Brianna. This is a shot that could turn the game for Brianna Smith. Trailer Jack for three. the weight. Weight looks good. She's going to drop down though. It's not moving. Oh, it didn't. Well, 
I'd say that's another three to Dawn Looks Heyman. Like three to Dawny. Yep. Our yep. marker is signal three, but it's eighteen eight. So just this is the biggest lead of the match now. Dawny just getting a little bit of breathing space here. First to twenty five. Well, a little bit shorter here by Dawn than what we've been normally been playing in this direction. So, it's an interesting length. But as you said, Ben, at the start of the coverage, you know, that first and second bowl, dawn has got a very good bowl as an open up. Yeah, she's just getting in first at the moment. Getting the beating brand to the punch, just out drawing her with those first couple of bowls and setting up better heads. Be well, close to shot. Wouldn't be much difference. It's only a couple of bowls short of Jack High here, Dorney. He's played it very well again. Looks like the shot bowl coming in. Yeah, definitely shot now. And falling against the bias as an added bonus. Just wants to make sure she's there. Here, Bree. It's very close. Extremely close. Has she got enough roll? No. So one to measure in Dawn's favour. She'll just play the, the forehand of your dive. You're just trying to arrive, get a roll out of one of her own, get a roll out of Browner's bowl and guarantee the three. Yep. Looking on a very good line. Just heard Dawn. Just Jesse just ran past her as she said, that's the slower side, Dawn. And she's right. She is. It's probably about oh, a good f four I to reckon. five to six feet slower, I think. Yeah, I reckon it's a good second. Good second and a half slower on that side. I think Brown has got to take a chance here. She's got to arrive up through this. Try and get a land. Turn up through her own bowl. She's trying to draw it. But she can't be falling short, Ben. No. Ben, that's, that's a cardinal sin. Dawn just having a look to see whether it is two. Yeah, well, the way she was measuring, it could be two. Yeah, it looks two from here. Obviously, the camera angles are a little bit deceiving because we're far away. But I think I think Brandon now will play weight on the forehand if nothing changes. So I think dawny has got to either be arriving up on the forehand, trying to turn through her own bowls. I think yeah. that's the same shot, what she just tried. Either that or she just goes deep for cover. But I think she can get a fantastic result just with a metre of weight on the forehand, turn her own bowl and get back to the centre line and pretty much shut this head down. a little bit of extra time here, Dawn. A bit more positive, as you said, Benny. Yeah, she got good weight this time. Just needs it to slip under her own bowl. Oh, she might crash and bring it forward into the head. Oh, there's a little bit of luck there. Oh, that's another one. I think we have to see weight on the forehand here from Browner. Bit of a bit of a punch and run sort of scenario. Yeah, she get the split too. <coughs> well, that's what she was looking at. As you know, a game of singles, you're by yourself, so it can be a lonely place out there. Trying to get get some advice and thinking of it, trying to make it, picking your own shots. And when it's not going right, it can be difficult. She just needs one big bowl here, Bree. Get her confidence back. It's going to get the outside bowl, I think.
Benny. Oh, well, she's uh, taken close. Just, just holding off on that tight hand again. Just starting on a slightly higher line. Looks like three for sure now. was three. Uh, it's now 21-8. So Fury's in a row now, Peter. You're just uh, you're keeping score there, mate. Well, how many ends in a row is that yeah, now? Yeah, oh, well, uh, five in a row. Five in a row. And two threes in a row. And another thing of the aspect of the game, it's been uh, four threes have gone Dawn's way as well. So, you know, as you were saying, building that head. So, 21 8, first to 25 here. Well, the match certainly isn't over, but uh, Brandon needs to start scoring and scoring quickly. This is uh, almost a must win end. a little bit tight on that side. Oh, Dawny can put real big pressure on here on the second. Yeah, Dawn's first bowl. The last six or seven ends has been fantastic. Yep. Really applying pressure. I've done it again. As you said at the start of the coverage, what's the key to a singles game? Your first two bowls. And Dorney's starting to do that in the last few ends. A little bit wider here for Bree. I don't know if she's got the weight though, Benny. She's turned her back on it. Yeah, just a it's fraction Close to it. shot. It's not that bad. Doing you on another good line here. Has she got the weight? Urging this one to run on. Looks at Ted. Ted Light. Can she find it? Ah, uh, she's tied again. Unfortunately. It's close for shot. Just a nice forehand draw yeah. again, I think. She had a good look at that to see whether it was one or two or who, in fact, is holding. But I don't think it changes her choice of shot. I think that's just out of curiosity there. Yeah. She just stay on the forehand, try and draw another one, preferably a closer shot. by Dawn. Can she get past the front? Could be shot if she gets beats that. Well, it's close all around. That could be counting. This uh, it's awfully close for three here. I think it's definitely one. I'm not too sure if it's two. Mm. I'd say the ball to the left of screen just behind Jack is shot. Well, Brown has certainly corrected the line. It's all down to weight. Can she beat her own bowl, Benny? Oh, she has. She has. Oh, it has to be shot. Out. Yeah, it's awfully close. Just dropped off. Just dropped out. So it's still going to be close for shot. Well, they're going to have a measure. I've uh, got the lie detector out. That's no, not that one. Uh, she has done it. Well done, Brianna Smith. And it's now 21-9. So Brianna stops the, the run of five ends in a row from Dawn Heyman. 
And I think she might go T to T here, Divey, which I think is probably a good idea. Just try yeah. and change. She's yeah. got to try and change something here. Yep. She tried it once before. Yeah, good roll. She tried it once before. And the first time she tried it, she rolled the jack in the ditch, unfortunately. So... First two bowls are key here for Brianna. Get a good start. Weight's looking good here. Yeah, that's not a bad start up. So Dorney switching back to this uh, this back end now. They've both been chopping and changing hands a little bit here. Just trying to find what's the better hand. Oh, I love the backhand, Benny, this way. <laughs> it's got a beautiful arc. It does. The beauty about the backhand in this direction, you almost can't finish wide. You throw it out a little bit wide and it actually gets back very nicely. It does. It's a, it's a very, very kind, true hand. And Brianna just changing hands, though, thinking that ball might be slightly in her line. I actually hate this hand. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the forehand. Oh, she's played this well. Yep. Played this very well. Dropping down nicely. She's running all the way to the jack now. Great oh, shot, Brianna bolt. Smith. Yep. So Donny just stay there, try and get another ball on the head. Try and build up a couple of seconds and she might be able to play a shot later in the end. And as my father always tells me, everything can be drawn. Oh, really? I think it's his way of telling me I drive too much, but he's right. Anything oh, can be drawn. I think you do drive too much. <laughs> Big bowl here for Bree. Got one on. Another one in the head would be great. I think she's lacking a little bit of weight, unfortunately. Will Dorney take the gamble now? Just looking to stack another bowl on the head here. A bit more of an on shot. Looking Try to pretty weird. Just wants to sneak around. Oh, that's a great effort. And that white ball's looking a little bit vulnerable. A couple of seconds for Dawn. Mm. Brianna trying to give it a friend here with her last. She's given it... Good set of weight. Will it drop down? Just sneak behind would be all right. Could be two. John just asking the question of Aaron. I like it's it. One or two. Just the one, she says. Oh, I like that for two. That's interesting. Dawn not going for it. She's got shots in the bag, I suppose you could say. Doesn't have to play any rash shots. Well, at least one to Bree. Well, back to back ends now for Browner. So one it is. One it was. Dawn Heyman still leads 21 to 10, first to 25, of course. For those just tuning in, this is our ladies' major singles final here at St. John's Park Bowling Club. A rematch of last year's final between Dawn Heyman and Brianna Smith. Dawn Heyman, a five-time defending champion of this event. Brianna Smith has reached a couple of finals in her time, looking to get her first major singles win here at St. John's. Peter Dive, private eye. Horse trainer, <laughs> owner, extraordinaire. No, I don't, yeah, a lot of, yeah. What about the Broncos? What a team. Oh, there you go. Benny Twist, Bronco Benny. Bronco Benny played a very good game. Very good game at NFL too for a slight period there. <laughs> yes. We won't say anything about a three metre forward pass. <laughs> Actually got tickets to the grand final. Looking uh, forward to it. Do you really? Yeah, looking forward to it. Oh, good. 
Should be a great game. Should be. And this is a, a very good start here from Dorney. I was loving this this forehand coming back here. She's Especially this nailing. length. Uh, and this length, Ben. It's, she's really got it down pat. Yeah, particularly coming in this direction. She's just nailed it no matter what length. Brenna tried to go short earlier on in the piece and drop a three. She's tried to go long and drop numbers. This uh, this direction, Dawn's just been absolutely dominating. Unfortunately for Bree, just a little bit short. Our mate Jimmy, Alastair Connell, said that was forward. Oh, I think a few million people around the world would say that was uh, forward. <laughs> Except for the two key people in yellow. Again, building ahead nicely here, Dawn Heyman. Just needing two or three feet of weight here, Bree, on this backhand. Tighter side, slightly slower. Ah, that's unfortunate. Big bowl here, Dawn. Could make three with this bowl, with one to go for Bree. Just wants to get past the front and is not happy. No, it's just missed a chance there to put real, real match pressure on Brianna. Big bowl in the contest. Here for Bree. She's got to find that extra yard of weight here. Oh, she's just she's gone wider up. though. Yeah. Can I get past the front and drop? Falls over, it might be second. No, it still states two. Well, just another draw here for Dawn on the forehand, whether it's one or two. I think it might only, might only be one there, Peter, but it uh, doesn't really change Dawn's shot. Just try and draw another one. Yeah. Beat, her, uh, beat her back left wing bowl for another shot. Took a little bit of extra time there, Dorney. Settled herself. I don't think it's there. I don't think she's let it go. Uh, just pulling up short. I will have a look to see if this is one or two, Peter. Oh, it's been picked up quite quickly, and it is no. only one. One to Dawn Heyman. She leads 22 to 10. No, she's been with her three shots now, Peter. Three yeah. shots of a six consecutive major singles title. And gone short, Ben. Varying this length up a lot, going in this direction. Long and then short. It's interesting. Great camera work there by Anthony and Jared. Or Jerry Jerry. Get us on right close to the action. Very good opening bowl. Chris just saying she loves watching Dawn play. Well, don't we all? I don't think you're alone there, Chris. A beautiful technique. She's got all the shots. Oh, good start there by Bree. Enough for shot. Just needing to drop a couple of feet here, Dorney. It's getting very, very close. Great ball, Dawn Heyman. Short there, Bree. Oh, 
dawn he's got a good chance here benny to get you know positive draw draw another or even just trail the jack Good back bowl there by Dorney. Still only one. Just a little bit wide here for Bree. Unfortunately, she's dropped short again. So Dorney holding one. She'll try and draw another shot here. A little touch or she'll lie game. Thanks, Vic. Hello to you, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying the coverage. A little trail here for Dorney would be tremendous. Only needing three. Oh, she likes it. She's watching it very closely. She's staring it down, Benny. Oh, she's awfully close to this jack. She's asking for the jack oh, and gets shot. the jack. Well, I'll say that's a humdinger there, Benny. That is a humdinger. I knew exactly what she wanted to play. And that is a definite humdinger. Well, Dorney Line Hayman. game. She's got one hand on the trophy. Just a draw here for Brown. Hasn't got much else, has she? She'll no. Pick her hand, try and draw within about six inches for shot. Not a bad line. Has she got the weight? That's a beautiful line if she's just over the draw. Has she got she's the very weight? Very close. She needs the jack, though. Off the bowl onto the oh, jack. what a shot. That is just great shot. Brilliant. So one to Brianna Smith, keeping the dream alive. Great conversion. That's the best end we've seen so far. That was the best head we've had. Beautiful bowls from both girls. Can that give Brianna a little bit of confidence, Benny? You know, a little bit of spark. <laughs> what do you play here? I'll go, I think you've got to go medium. I, I don't think you can go to the T. I I think you've got to go medium, like middle of the line. Like where Aaron's, where Aaron's standing. Maybe a little just, yeah, that's, that's a length I don't mind. Here. Yeah. I thought you might change to this back end here, Dolby. Yeah, she just, just hasn't got the forehand with the line and of, uh, weight. A lot of tight bowls on this forehand. Does turn a lot. Does get away very yeah. quickly towards the end, but she had a lot of tight bowls with either decent weight or just short of decent weight. Whereas Dorney's been absolutely peppering her first bowl in this direction. It's a, it can be a really nice hand, but it can also be a very punishing hand, this forehand. As you can see, how much it actually does turn. Another great start from Dorney. Well, she'll have to change the back end now, Ben. For sure. A lot tighter, as it is. How's the weight? He's usually a second slower. Just missing. Good start. This would probably be what Dorney's first bowl on this hand, I think. Ben? Yeah, she hasn't played too many. She hasn't played too many at all. It looks like she's found the line pretty well straight away. Just slipping on through, but in a good home. Excellent line here for Brianna. All depending on a weight here. She's not far away from the jack. Can she get a little touch? Oh, unfortunately, she's taken it back to Dorney's bowl. So 
So one and a measure, says Aaron, our marker. Back bowl is the shot, front bowl is close with Brenner's toucher. Well, get back to this forehand. She's played fantastic throughout the match. Just needs to run a little bit for Dorney. Looking for a clear run now. Well, that'll count as well. Yeah, that counts. Two or three. Can Brianna Smith draw something close? It's not a bad line. Just needs to work now. Is she a touch quick? Uh, she is, unfortunately. I'd like her for two. Just only two, though. But yeah, well, Dawny uh, had, had a pretty good look at that, and she's walking back to the head, so she might favour it as two as well. Just got to play the same bowl here, Peter. Drawing for the match, Ben. For her sixth straight St. John's Park Lady Major Singles title. And she's sticking to her favourite forehand. Looks tight to me. But where will it finish? Oh, it's only got to sit on this bowl. Just going to run oh, through. It's just run through. And she's not happy. No, <laughs> that would suggest that she does think it's only two. So two it is. Yeah. And Dawn Heyman goes to a 24-11 lead. Has just the one shot remaining for this title. Of course, the winner of this not only is a champion, but progresses through to the state yep. champion of champion singles. Yep. Back to this shortish length end again. You'll get there, Jerry. <laughs> course we'll continue our live streaming on Saints TV on next Friday night with the single gender pennant the grade one St John's Park up against our neighbours Arch Enemy Cabramatta and uh, all the major players will be playing in it Twisty and Fergo Dave Ferguson yep Matthew Peterson And of course, Aaron Wilson and Carl Healy for Cabra. So we'll be live streaming that match from about six o'clock on Friday. Great correction there by Dawn for one. That's all she needs. Just to get the hardest shot in the book. One. The last one. Good weight there by Bree, just a touch wide. Liking this, Dorney. Really liking this. Very, very close. She get behind her own. That's a very good She's shot. Cracking shot, Dawn Heyman. It's about four inches behind the jack. Nothing really but a draw here for Brianna. Got a little bit weighty. I think she's had two shots on mine there, Ben. Yeah, I think if you're Dawn, you just stay away from this now. It's a pretty good setup. Probably three shots as well. We'll just be chucking one around the back, I think, here, Peter. Yeah. I can't see the jack going t to the... L oh, the jack could go to the left, but more chance going to the right of screen. So... She might just... Yeah, just run for cover. A bit of insurance. Yep. She didn't, want to, she didn't want to fatten that up. 
Trying to get to the two back bowls. Just a touch quick. I like this from Bree. Coming up and having a look. See what type of shot she needs to play. So we'll have a we'll have a quick chat with our champion at the conclusion of this game. Speaking of Dawn Heyman with uh, a slippery grip on the championship trophy at the moment, Brianna Smith about four inches to draw the shot to save game. And she could try make a trail here, Benny. Could make three. A little bit of an on shot. That's what she's That's trying. What she's doing. Will it drop? Is she going to get the oh, ball? She's close to the jack. To the jack. Oh, she's got the jack, but Dawn Heyman has gone through. And Dawn Heyman is the 2023 St. John's Park Lady Major Singles Champion. Her sixth title in a row, winning 25 to 11 over Brianna Smith. And Ben Twist is quickly going to go and have a chat to our champion, Dawny. What a great month Dawn's been having. And... Uh, Thanks, Peter. Quick. We'll just wait for a quick little interview there for, for we're just getting over there. It's a great match, great lead bowls there by by Dawn and everything. And Brianna couldn't get the backhand going back on the other direction. It's a bit wide, so we'll get on. Con we're going to get to Benny just in a moment. Yep, and we've got Dawny. Can you hear me, Peter? We all good to go? Beautiful. Well, Dawny, And here well we done. are with Ben Great Twist. Great game, very solid. Your first bowl, particularly in the direction going away from us today, was fantastic. And I suppose that was a bit of a game plan going in to try and get put, build that pressure um, against Brianna. Yeah, it's always my sort of game plan is just to get my first two bowls as close as I can and, and um, build the head and, and try and play some shots if I need to. But, yeah, it was very tricky. Going back that way, I found it a little bit nicer. Um, coming back this way, was a little bit quicker. Um, one hand was a lot slower than the other as well, so it was very tricky. <laughs> Yes, yeah, we did notice that, yeah, that uh, the ditch side's a little bit slow and you, you predominantly stayed on that wide hand and you had a nice draw going on there. Well, six consecutive major singles titles here at St John's Park. You must be over the moon. You're off to another champion of champions, trying another title on the board. Uh, what's, it, what's it feel like to win six in a row at a club like this? Yeah, at a club like this, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I wasn't too confident coming in. There's so many young guns now in our, in our club, um, so they're all playing so well, um, as we've seen the last couple of days. So, yeah, to get this win is pretty special um, and hopefully I can keep on going but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. <laughs> oh, you're going pretty good so far, six from six. Hey, you got a bit of your family here today, you got Thomas and a, a few other family members, must be nice, you got such a great support crew, they, they follow you around, it feels like almost everywhere and cheer you on every game, it must be an, an added bonus, an extra sort of leg I guess when you're out there in, in, in tough times. Yeah, it's really special to have them here. Thomas follows me around everywhere, as you know, and everyone else does know. Um, my sister could join us today. Uh, she has a day off, so that's pretty cool. And my auntie and uncle showed up out of the blue, didn't know they were coming, so they caught the last bit of the game. So, yeah, very happy with that. Ah, beautiful. Right, well, congratulations, Dawn. Another title. Um, all the best in the Champion of Champions coming up. And uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Uh, we will be back on Friday night from 6 p.m. for the men's single gender pennant, St. John's Park versus Cabramatta here at Saints TV. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in, and congratulations to your champion, Dawn Heyman. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Dawn. What a great achievement with Dawn Heyman and her sixth successful title here at St. John's Park. A tremendous effort. So on behalf of Ben Twist, Peter Dive, we'll see you on Friday night for Cabramatta versus St. John's Park in the Saints TV. That'll be our next live stream. And also to Anthony Cotty and Jared Beath for assisting us in the production. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.